Aubrey was shot and killed in Brunswick, Georgia. A home security camera caught him walking down Satilla Drive. The time, however, appears to be wrong on the security camera. Police reports and 911 calls suggest it was just after 9 p.m. Sunday, February 23rd. Aubrey was about two miles from home. He stops briefly into a house under construction across the street. Someone is watching. At 1.08 p.m., the man called police to report a trespasser. Security footage from the house across the street under construction shows Ahmad inside of the property wondering about. Briefly, then he walks back out. By the time he comes out, he's approached. By this time, other neighbors are on alert. Police reports say there had been an ongoing issue of trespassing in the house under construction. Just days before Aubrey's shooting on February 11th, a text message saying that Travis McMichael had confronted one of the trespassers. So today they were on alert. Security footage shows Aubrey leaving the house under construction and runs down the street. He runs past 230 Satilla Drive towards Burford Drive. Gregory Michael sees him at this point and thinks he recognizes him from the other day. McMichael stated he then ran inside his house and called to Travis McMichael and said, Travis, the guy is running down the street, let's go. Gregory grabs a pistol and Travis grabs a shotgun. In police interviews, McGregory says, both men in fact say, they didn't know if the male was armed or not. The father and son then proceeds to get in a white truck to follow Aubrey. There is no public video showing what happened next, but Gregory later told police what happened. They followed Arbery down Satilla Drive toward Burford Drive. They then followed Arbery down Burford Road and tried to cut him off, but Arbery turned around and started to run back towards Satilla Drive. At this point, another neighbor with William Roddy Bryan joins in the chase. The police report says Roddy Bryant tried to stop Aubrey and block him in. The chase continues around the neighborhood, in fact, a few minutes. At some point, Roddy starts to record on his cell phone, and we see Aubrey jogging as he continued to follow him. The McMichaels are stopped just ahead of Aubrey. The 25-year-old is now trapped between the two cars and the three men. While Roddy adjusts the camera, we now can hear the shouting in the background. Gregory McMichael had called 911 from the bed of the truck, and Travis was now outside of the truck with his shotgun in hand. Aubrey and Travis struggle with the gun outside of the truck as we hear the second gunshot. Travis tells police if Aubrey had have stopped, this would not have happened. 
Travis and Gregory McMichael are both charged with murder, as is William Roddy Bryant. The Cab County DA has appointed a very special prosecutor in this case. Jury selection has begun, and all three men have pleaded not guilty. Black Label Reviews. Thank <laughs> you.